Following the Patriots' victory at Yorktown, Alexander Hamilton traveled north to Albany, where he rejoined his wife Elizabeth, who was pregnant with their first child, Philip. But there was no time to rest for Hamilton. In January of 1782, Hamilton requested the New York Supreme Court to grant him special waivers so that he could become a lawyer in a matter of months, as opposed to the three-year internship required in order to take the bar exam. Considering Hamilton's record as aide-de-camp to George Washington for a period of four years, Hamilton was granted his petition and would pass the bar exam six months later in July. The year earlier, in 1781, recognizing the delicate situation of the nation's finances and the disparities between the state's currencies in addition to the out-of-control inflation, Alexander Hamilton had already proposed to Robert Morris, the United States Superintendent of Finances, that in order to regulate the finances of the nation, a national bank needed to be created. Morris was a supporter of Hamilton's ideas and pushed for them in Congress. After Hamilton resigned his military commission in March of 1782, Robert Morris appealed to the sudden availability of Alexander Hamilton and appointed him receiver of continental taxes for the state of New York. In this position, Hamilton would act as liaison between the state of New York and the superintendent of finances. Congress had no power to forcibly collect taxes and so depended on the commitment of the states to provide Congress with enough tax money to function. This position proved to be of limited influence, as Hamilton also lacked real power to force the collection of taxes in the state of New York. In October, Hamilton was elected to Congress as a representative of the state of New York. Hamilton's plans for a national bank had to wait for 10 years until he succeeded Morris as the head of the nation's finances in the newly created Department of the Treasury. His limited experience as receiver of continental taxes for the state of New York a decade earlier would be influential in the development of the nation's financial system.